Hey everybody, I'm about to whip up some real quick chicken salad here. Let me see where my chopper is. I just got it out. And here it is. All right, I got a rotisserie chicken going on here. I've taken some of the breast, about one and a half breast. I'm going to take my rata chopper and I'm going to chop it a little bit more. I kind of just chopped it as with the knife as I got it off the bird here. I'm going to chop that a little bit more. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to make me some bouillon because I like to add broth to it. So I've got about a half a cup of hot water right there. So I'm going to take about that much and I'm going to let that dissolve in here to make me a little bit of chicken bouillon. Now this is better than bouillon. I keep that in my fridge and anytime I need chicken broth, I mix this up. All right, we're gonna let that dissolve while we get the rest of the stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the mayonnaise. I thought I got it out. Let me get the mayonnaise. All right, we got the mayonnaise. We're going to go ahead and put some mayonnaise in this thing. And I don't know how much we're going to put. Say that much. We'll start with that much. Maybe a little bit more. Because that's pretty much chicken. All right, we're going to start mixing this up. And to this, I have already chopped up some celery. There might be a lot of mayonnaise. We'll have to see how this is going to go. I got some celery here, already chopped up and washed. I'm just gonna put all that in there, y'all, because we need our vegetables, right? All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some seasonings in this. See how thick this is? You don't want your, you don't want your salad to be that thick. That's why I add the, the chicken bouillon. This chicken bouillon is going, I'm going to, it's going to uh, make it moist and not so clumped up like that. Also, I got a bunch of grapes here, red grapes. I've already washed and sliced them. So we're going to put all them in, y'all, because that is what makes a good chicken salad. So this will put a little bit of moisture in there too. But the whole thing that's going to make your chicken salad apart from everybody else's is you're going to put that broth in there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of nature seasoning. This is salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. I'm going to put a little bit of seasonings in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this broth in here. I don't know how much. We'll put a little bit of it in there. And then you just got to stir it up and see what you think of it when you get this mixed up. Now the best way to eat this, I think, is to put it on some croissants. That's my favorite way to have it, is a croissant sandwich. But I don't have any croissants, so I'm just going to be eating mine on white bread. But see how much moisture that puts in there? And it just isn't dry and clumped up when you go to eat it. It's real moist. We're just going to get this stirred up real good here. And I'm probably going to put the rest of that broth in there because it's just going to make it that much better. So let's just dump all this in here. We got a little bit of stuff that didn't dissolve. I'll just mix that all up. And just keep stirring it and you know as you put it in the refrigerator it's going to kind of thicken back up but this is going to taste real good because it's going to be so moist and creamy without uh, putting so much uh, mayonnaise in there this is will make it creamy all right, there you have it, homemade chicken salad. Just grab you some bread and 
get you a sandwich.